Okay, so are we ready for the next step? I think we are. So I'm going to pour all of this paste. I'm going to make a paste, rather. I'm not pouring the paste. I'm pouring the ingredients, okay? And um, a good part of the ingredients that makes the paste is this radish. It's just that this radish is purple. It's not the white one. So the red color, again, it's not coming in. Okay. I could smell it. It's very good, actually. This is really just fermented cabbage. That's all it is. We're just making it Korean style, except it's not the Korean cabbage, so it'll be purple. But I think that regardless, it's going to be good because it doesn't have to be a fermented uh, Korean dish. It's still hot. I probably should have let it get cooled down. I thought, I thought it was less hot than this. Uh, I think I'm going to pause this. Actually, you see it smoking. Well, I see it smoking from my end, but it doesn't really seem hot. When I when I put my finger to it, it's not really that hot. So I think we're good. Not to mention that the other stuff is not hot, so it's going to blend in. It's going to have the right temperature. Okay. So let's finish. Actually, this this sticky this is sticky rice. Water, right? Sweet water. It's a sweet, sticky rice. Plus, it's we added two tablespoons of sh brown sugar to it. It actually tastes pretty good. I know how to make good, good, good um, dessert with this, actually. And that's going to be another. Uh, it's going to be a, a Middle Eastern dish. So, I don't need a big spoon. I think this is just fine. And again, it's not going to be that hot anymore because this is being cooled off by the, by the, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> the paste. This is now the paste. Okay. Now, I mean, I could throw, cheat and throw a little bit of this to give it a red color. What do you think? What do you think? Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to pour a little bit of this because I know it's going to be rich in the red color. Oh, no, it's actually like an orangey color. Ooh, this is really spicy. I don't think I need much more spice. I already did a lot of sneezing earlier. Okay, so we put a little bit more of kimchi paste powder just to make it a little redder. And obviously a little spicier. Ooh, oh my goodness. Now, do I need this to be really spicy? No, I don't. Frankly, this has all the flavors in it naturally without the powder. I can smell it. It's the same thing, pretty much. Okay. So, um, now I'm going to start the kimchi process. So, I'm going to take off my sweater and not, not use, wear long sleeve. Not let my sleeves touch the food. Rolling up my sleeves of my pajamas. Ooh, that thing really went up my nose. And we're going to start the kimchi process. So now, what am I going to do? I'm going to drain the cabbage. Because we're going to finish this thing tonight. This thing is going down tonight. Okay. I think this is going to come out pretty good. If you ask me, the smell of this uh, paste... You know, just the ingredients uh, before creating a paste is phenomenal. It really is. So forget about, we're not looking for, it doesn't have to be Korean, right? But it, it, it is. It, I'm using their ingredients. The only thing I left out, I'll be honest, is fish fish sauce or uh, oyster sauce, which is what they, they use, okay? I don't really care for the fishiness of it, so I don't mind the fact that I forgot, okay? So now... We're going to drain all this from its salt water, okay? And I'm going to put this on pause for a minute or two. Actually, I don't think I need to drain it. I don't think I need to drain it. I think that this is all I need to do. Watch. Burn this up a little bit. Oh, boy. Everything is a little fight here with this little camera stand. Okay. 
All right, so now we're going to face it here because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour, put some of this on the leaves, okay? Because this is what's going to give it the kimchi ness, right? The kimchi ness, right? So now I'm going to roll it in. Look how beautiful, right? So I'm going to put some some of the paste on top. It's actually nice and warm. It's not hot at all. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to bother washing or rinsing anything because this has salt water and this the salt water is what's going to help with the process of the fermentation anyway, right? So the lady warned me. Let me just spread it with my hands. Right. Spread it with my hands. See how nicely it rolls over? You see that? This is a texture that it's supposed to be. So again, I mean, listen, it's not red, but it's okay. It's not red, but it's okay. In fact, why not just dip it in here? Look at this. Why not just dip it in here? Yeah, I think I'll do that instead. Take some shortcuts, right? Dip it and dip it. Look at that. Dip it and dip it. It'll make it go a lot faster. Okay. <coughs> this thing is spicy, I could tell. But it, it really has a good smell. I think I'm going to use that the material I use for the paste uh, for cooking something else. Pro probably soup. It just has a really, really delicious smell sense to it okay so so if you look at other people doing kimchi online it's gonna look different right because this is not red right but I did the first step which is processing and softening the cabbage hmm, let me just dip it right why not why not just dip it all right that's all it is is it, it being dipped you don't it doesn't have to look pretty it's going to look pretty at the end, that's for sure. So you see this? So I kind of strain this a little bit. I could squeeze it actually while it's still in the bucket. That's what I'll do. I'm squeezing it while it's in the bucket. So I did some squeezing like that while it was in the water bucket, okay? So here we go. And here we go. Look at that. Look how beautiful. It's not red, but it's got a nice color to it, that's for sure. So this bu these buckets, uh, the bu that bucket I'm using, see, so I'm squeezing, let me show you how I'm squeezing it, see, like a little sponge, see, okay, it's just so you can see what I'm doing, now I'm dirtying my cell phone, not a very good idea, not a very good idea, okay, so you already saw how I was squeezing it, right, You hear me squeezing it, right? So here we go. Nice. And I'm going to really just dip it in here. I, I don't see the the point of doing it so nicely, so elegantly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be full of the paste anyway, right? So here it is. Can you see it? And I'm going to roll it up. Oops. I'm going to roll it up. Okay. It's gonna, it has a lot of garlic in it. A lot of garlic. Because that's what Koreans like. They like a lot of garlic. Right? Now, I don't mind not leaving some... <coughs> See, I'm choking because it's so spicy. I don't mind leaving some water in here. Because it's this salty water anyway. That's, um... That's making it... That's gonna make it, uh... What do you call it? It's going to cause it to ferment, right? It's a salty water. So here we go. See, even this part's a little hard. So uh, 48 hours was more than enough time. Okay, you see this? Okay. Excuse me, pardon. I forget... I'm not exactly alone when I have the camera on. 
So, I mean, it's like the food getting, getting to me, right? It's really just the food getting to me. Okay. So then I'm going to dump it in here. And I'm going to roll it. Okay, see? So instead of red, it's just purple. That's the only difference. Trust me when I say it's going to be spicy anyway. Do not underestimate the color of the radish <laughs> versus the spiciness. Especially the garlic. I smell a lot of garlic in here. A lot of garlic. Okay. So why not? Just give it a nice little... I make it so pretty, right? So now, see this? See how pretty? I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. Are you? Do me a favor. Write something down below. I know this critique, and that's okay. Just try not to be so mean. Okay? Uh, just remember one thing. I'm Latina. Oh, if you didn't know it, Puerto Rican. So we're into flavors anyway. So... I'm not going to go bad, go wrong on the flavor. I'm not going to go wrong on the flavor. Trust you me. Okay. But this is a piece of spicy red pepper. You see it right there? It's all over the place. This thing is going to be really, really hot. So let's call this Puerto Rican kimchi, right? I mean, I'm a New Jersey Rican. I'm not a, I'm not born and raised in Puerto Rico because if I go over there, they say, Tu no eres de acá. Because I'm so different. Because we're different, right? It's like a different culture when you're from here. But I'm from Jersey, not from New York. A little different from New York Yorkers. Okay. <clears throat> so here's a little one. I don't know why I got the spoon here. I might as well take it out. So it's serving me no purpose at this point. Ooh, I just dropped two. You know, this could go fast, quite frankly. Because all I got to do, frankly, really? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit it a little bit. Like it's in it. Coming out of a washer or dryer. And I'm going to just bathe it there and roll it up when I bring it out. That's all it has to do. It's it just gotta be it has to be rolled out and bathed, right? Doesn't have to look like roll necessarily. When you have kimchi, sometimes it's it's really like sh more like shredded, some of it, depending who made it, right? So it, even this part is a little hard, quite frankly. Did I cut the core off? Oh my goodness. I mean, the core was just a little bit to cut anyway. It's not a big deal. I may prefer that anyway because it would be crunchy. But it's just a little tiny, tiny part in cutting the core. It's not a big deal. And I did cut. I did definitely cut it. But, I mean, according to a demonstration, illustration I saw, it's really like a real tiny little piece. See this? Okay. And there we go. Now, these are food-grade buckets. I get them from the supermarket because I'm a prepper. And I still have to prep a lot of stuff. I've just been really lazy. But now that the winter months are coming, it'll give me something to do. Yeah. So, I, I hope I have enough of the paste. I'm pretty sure I do. You see this? This is really just fermented ca cabbage. That's all it really is. It doesn't have to be Korean. So get out of your mind. Oh, it doesn't look like Korean. Oh, she's messing up. No, this is a fermentation we're doing. And if you want to take away the name of the culture, but I learned from that culture. This is where I got the idea from, right? Fair is fair. Just because I used American radish that changed the color of it, it doesn't really mean anything. See, look at that. So now I'm going to roll it up. Roll, 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 roll. Kind of like make sure it's really getting that flavor. See? I think it looks really pretty on this other bucket. Wait till I show you the picture. So I'm squeezing it like it's closed. Not too tight though. Because quite frankly, I disagree about drying it too much. Because that's the salt that we need. And I use the right salt. Sea salt. Okay, this is, I'm using the correct salt. And for it to get fermented, it needs salt. I don't, I'm not too sure I want to remove too much of that because the fermentation is really, really with the salt. That's really what causes it to ferment. I know I'm repeating myself. But um, 
I don't think I'm, I'm harming it by not squeezing out the very water that's going to cause it to ferment. Okay. I'm almost done Both with the paste. So it's a perfect amount, quite frankly. Uh, although I got plenty of the radish that is used for the paste, I, I made too much of it. But frankly, it's probably not a bad idea that I did it because I could use that. I could use that for beans. It really just tastes like it would make a, a delicious uh, bean bean uh, recipe because it has so much garlic. I love beans with a lot of garlic, by the way. So we'll see how beautiful. We could wrap this around here. Okay. So what? So it's not red. It's purple, right? <laughs> All right. Now, you could go ahead and criticize me. <coughs> but you won't be able to taste my kimchi. And I know it's going to be good because it tastes like sofrito. You know what I mean? Puerto Rican cooking. It tastes like that nice spice. And it has a good amount, a fair amount of, of kick to it, right? Now, I'm not one that's used to a lot of kick, so I think this may be too kicky for me, quite frankly. But I'm going to make it happen. And it, it'll grow my <coughs> tolerance. So he's just, you know, I couldn't really roll this up in a corner but we're almost done look at that we are almost done so again i'm using chinese cabbage not the korean one but asian cabbage is asian cabbage right um. <clears throat> okay so i took it, this and i squeezed it this is the end of it Gee, it's a lot easier than what I thought. I've been wanting to procrastinate, but I figured I gotta get this done tonight. So I'm just gonna take this and put it like in the center as a little adornment. Okay, because I can't roll this up. Let me put it in another corner. Now you're gonna get to see the real kimchi that will be sitting. I have to find out for how many days. Probably at least a week. Probably at least a week. Don't mind me as I try to clean up here. I'm so excited that I finally did this. So excited, you have no idea. No idea how excited I am that I finally did this. So let me get a paper towel. And, and I mean, this, this thing that I did is like sofrito. It just has a lot of radish. So uh, I'm not complaining. I can make soup out of that. And I've never, never heard of radish soup, but... I'm going to look up some recipes for the radish to make sure that what I make makes sense. Although, I'm a pretty good cook, so I could easily put flavors together. And I could tell you right now that this is going to be pretty harmless in mixing it with black beans. Uh, it'll give me a few rounds of black beans, quite frankly. And um, so here we are. It is done. It is finished. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. What do you think? Looks like kimchi or not. Just a different color. That's all. Just a different color. So now I'm going to put this away and let it ferment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.